Welcome back to Jamie's Adventures in Dirt 4. My name is Ricky, and today we're going to be heading down under to continue the Global Rally series. But first, I have a little bit of bad news. So, here's the thing. Today's episode was actually supposed to be the first two stages. We did very poorly. That is not the reason why right now you are not seeing them. But in fact, because uh, for some reason, my uh, recording decided to overly distort my voice to the point that it was incredibly distracting. It was not good. It was not a good quality, and there's nothing you can do about distorted audio once it's that distorted. I turned up a little bit of something, but it wasn't clipping, and then when I got the recording, it was all distorted. So, getting all that out of the way, uh, the first two stages were at night, and they sucked. They sucked a lot, 11th and 16th. We are in 12th place overall. This has not been a good event at all for Jamie. It's not I'm gonna be real honest with you. I came in 16th. The car should look a lot worse. Five, Good news is I four, did finally remember three, to turn back on the launch two, control. One, so, um, holding down the handbrake actually works. Well, it appears to be dusk, not, um, just the dead of night, which is what the last one's in. Okay. Oh. I've not had great luck. Racing, and I don't know what it is. I don't understand. I don't remember ha having this bad a luck in Australia before. Although there are 33 other episodes, so there's bound to be some examples of me not racing good in um, Australia. But so uh, yeah, uh, a couple changes that I've made that I, I should point out is that I turned the car's volume down a little bit because I was having a hard time hearing Maggie and I just I felt like we I I need to hear her um the game did update recently but I can't imagine that has anything to do with why I'm driving so poorly or anything at all uh, so hopefully this will have a good I did check the audio to make sure it wasn't distorting before I recorded, uh, check the settings that I was using to make sure it wasn't distorting. So, hopefully, um, it won't distort. Now, it might distort a little bit if I get really excited or really frustrated. Because uh, if I start talking a lot louder than I am right now, I imagine. So, what I'm saying is I really hope that we actually have some Australia footage. You know. Oh. So, I feel like I'm racing very tentatively right now. Um... Or Jamie's racing very tentatively right now. Because uh, after those first two stages, she was livid. Livid. Like throwing things, breaking stuff, kicking stuff, punching stuff, yelling at people. Oh, she was mad. I mean, she was mad at herself more than she was mad at anybody else. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes when people get angry, regardless of who that person is, they have a tendency to take it out on everybody but themselves, even though the person they're really mad at is themselves. And Jamie's one of those people who will occasionally yell at other people. She yelled at Maggie for a little while, and Maggie's a good friend and knows that it, it just helps Jamie sometimes to yell at Maggie. Um, in the past, Maggie's just kind of yelled back and gotten into it, but she also knows when not to. Um, so... Yeah, uh, but yeah, Jamie breaking, yelling, yelled at, uh, uh, all the engineers, all of them, told them that their repairs weren't good enough and stuff like that, um, oh, it's, it's not good, uh, like, uh, we're guaranteed at least one sponsor payout won't be coming to us, I pressed the, what is going on, I don't, it's like this surface and this car don't want to work together, even though it's just dirt. But it feels like maybe I'm... Do you see how early some of these calls seem to be coming? I feel like they're coming too soon. And it's throwing my timing off. That one almost came a little late. Hi, people. I'm trying not to run you over, but you're standing way too close. Back up. Oh. 
So, Keep left over crest. I don't know. It feels like the brakes may not be quite right. Crest. Nothing is feeling good right now, is what I'm saying. Um, and typically, you know, I wouldn't be recording this after having such a bad performance, but I need to get the video out. And I can't release the video I had recorded because the, you know, the audio was so bad. A uh, part of me was just like, you know, just release it, um, or don't upload a video. One of the two. Like the, those are the two options I was, I was mulling over in my head, and I went, no, I can't do either of those things. I mean, I could easily do the not up upload one. I've done that before when videos haven't quite gone recording when I've had recording issues and I've just been frustrated. And because usually it doesn't make for a good episode. Uh, for 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 a good video is if if I'm incredibly frustrated. Nope, 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 nope. That's a tree. Back off the freaking tree. Uh, uh. Yeah. So this is basically going to be our lost stage, our lost, our lost um event. Uh. Hopefully that was better than the last couple, but I don't feel like it was. That's kind of the way it's been feeling. It's just been like, uh, what is going on? I don't, I don't understand what's happening. Okay, we're done. Standing is updated. At least she didn't say we got to get higher in the stages, the standings. That's good news. Um, well, that was a lot better than last time. Uh, we, even though I still feel, I feel like that was awful. I mean, it wasn't nearly as bad. Don't get me wrong. But I still feel like it's been bad, and we still finished second, so that's pretty good. Um, we did move up in the standings to to two point two places. That's that's good news. Uh, we got a lot of time to make up if we want to have even a remotely good place in this thing. Well, car's looking a bit battered, but it's actually pretty good. Okay. Five. Um, so, it's raining, I mean, I knew it was going to be a, a, a wet stage, but <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help or hurt, um, you know, I've never tweaked this car in any way, shape, or form, you know, ja Jamie never really, she... From the moment we got the car, she really felt completely in control of this car, even when things go wrong, you know? She's never felt like the car was the issue. Other cars she's raced in, she's definitely felt like the car needed some tuning that um, I personally am not good enough to tune these cars. Like, I have a vague notion of how to tune these cars but uh, she's never wanted to tune the cars but I heard her overheard her after that last stage say I think maybe at the next pit stop thingy what do they call it um, anyway at the next at the next chance she has to to tune it she might tweak the brakes a little bit but she might not, but I've never heard her say that ever about the the Subaru. I mean, she literally calls the car old reliable. Have I mentioned that? I don't think I've ever mentioned that. I mean, it's not the car's official nickname because it doesn't have one. Um, maybe it should. So, she, uh, so, but, 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 it was, that's, that is how bad things are going right now. I mean, we've had bad stages and bad events before, but it's been a long time since we've had a really atrocious, atrocious performance like Jamie's having right now. Um, in a very long time, you know. So... It's it's very inter it's it, it, basically what I'm saying is right now, and you know in the in the RV, in the you know in the in the in the team areas, it's super tense. 
because uh, no one really knows what to do. Because is Jamie having a hard time because something's going on behind the scenes? No, is the answer. You know, it's she, right now she's got a pretty solid relationship with her father. You know, she made up with her sister a while back and hasn't had anything on that regard. I mean, the only thing she's done personal life-wise is she had a really, really disastrous double date with Rousseau after the... Uh, after the uh, uh, after the uh, the Michigan uh, event, after the Michigan event, uh, Rousseau, uh, well, before the Michigan event, Rousseau had met this this girl at a club, and she had really hit it off with her. But Rousseau, uh, th this this girl that Rousseau wanted to date or wanted to at least go out with before she left for Australia, um, she. Uh, the girl wanted a, someone to date her brother, to go out with her brother. Uh, because her brother was having a hard time finding a, a girl, and there was a reason for that. And I may tell you a little bit more about it. But it was a bad date, is what I'm saying. It was just a disaster of a date. Well but on the plus side, we did win the stage. Which is good news, because we need to go up in the standings. Sixth! We moved up all the way to sixth! Oh, okay. Well, let's look at stage results first. So, uh, yeah, uh, ten seconds ahead of, of uh, Martin. That's good. Yeah, that was a much better stage. Event standings. Oh yeah, we are at a much better point here. We're uh, easily could move into the top five. We're only, um, you know, a little over two two seconds there. I think what it's going to take is it's going to take everyone else to start to suck as bad as Jamie has been. I will admit that that stage felt so much better than the first three stages. Oh, just driving wise. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm relaxing more. I don't know. Oh, look at that car. Are you implying that we need parts, Maggie? I feel like Five, you're trying to say we need four, better parts. Three, two, one, go. Uh, and we don't need better parts because this car is kitted out with Class A parts. Or are you saying we just need more parts because of the... Oh my good lord. Well, that was fast. Pouring down rain. Need to brake sooner. And not as hard. Um, so anyway, about this double date that she went on that was really disastrous for Jamie. Not, however, disastrous at all for Rousseau, who, um, begged Maggie to go out, or Jamie, sorry, who begged Jamie to go on this date with, um, with Rousseau because she won't go out with me unless I find someone for her brother. Um... And she said, fine, but it's just one date, and I don't, I'm not interested in having a boyfriend. I don't want a boyfriend. I just want to drive. And oh my goodness, that was, the car started wobbling, and I was trying to get it to unwobble, and I think I hit the button the wrong way, and ah. This feels worse, I'll admit. This feels worse than that last stage. Uh, but pouring down rain usually means everybody does actively worse than normal. Usually. So. Uh, so they get, they go to this very nice restaurant. And Jamie even borrowed a dress from Maggie for the, just to kind of really help out her good friend Rousseau. Who she desperately wants to, you know. I know desperate may not be the right word there, but she, she wants, she wants to be a good friend. She, she, Jamie loves being a good friend to people. Like that's one of the things she likes to pride herself on. So she wants to make sure that, oh my goodness, this is just like the first stage all over again, except it's not at night. So I can clearly see what's going on. It wasn't raining in the first stage. I'm gonna get smarter. I'm not going to floor it through a straight, straight away. Um, so, they go down this date, and Jamie, and, and so, um, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna call him Patrick. That's not his actual name. But we're gonna call him Patrick, because that's the first name that popped into my head. 
<laughs> and so Jamie goes out with, uh, you know what? I can't, I just thought of a better name. Forget Patrick. We're calling him Donnie. And we're going to call the, the uh, Donnie's sister, Marie, because I just can't help that kind of. So Rousseau was on a date with a girl named Marie, not her real name. And Maggie, or Jamie, sorry. Jamie went on a date with uh, with her brother, Donnie. Again, not their real names, but I can't help myself. Uh, and so the first thing, you know, they start talking about, you know, the weather or whatever. And then um, this, this guy, uh, Donnie, asks Jamie about rallying. And she talks about rallying for all of, oh, 30 seconds. And then that was a lot of stuff to get thrown at me right there. Uh, and then he uh, immediately just starts talking about himself. He works at a car dealership in Detroit. And oh my good lord, you would have thought he worked. He ran like six of them all across the country. You would have thought he was like this massive business owner. And he's just a car salesman. Which is nothing wrong with being a car salesman, but... Awesome result. That was a good, because that was also not great. So if everyone else is doing as bad as Jamie's doing... Oh! Okay, um, so this is not going to be our lost stage, uh, because now we're in third. Stage results one. Yeah, we just killed everybody. What? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. You know what? Let's just look at stage results. Oh my good lord, we are only... Oh wow, okay, we got a real shot at winning this. One stage left, and a chance to come in first. Hey, the car's in good shape. It, it just looks beat up. It's are you kidding me? That last stage was a clean stage, apparently. No, maybe it was the stage before it was a clean stage. I think the stage before it was a clean stage. Um. So, anyway. So he spent the entire time talking about himself and how awesome he was. Uh, but, so Jamie stopped listening to him and started paying attention to, um, to Marie and Rousseau. And how much they were getting along. And I don't know if it's that this girl, uh, that Marie is super into French girls, but Rousseau uh, seemed equally as interested. That was a terrible turn. Interested in uh, Marie as Marie was in her, which is always a good thing. And they were talking about, you know, growing up and how, how they'd grown up, you know, very differently. And it's a much more engaging life. Um, here's the funny thing about all of that. Donnie never noticed that Jamie wasn't paying an ounce of attention to, to him. He's just talking a mile a minute about his job and how cool it was that he sold cars. And don't get me wrong, I think that, um, I think that car salesmen get a bad rap because there are some just awful car salesmen, sexist, awful... It's, it's, it's never, but but I think that a lot of them aren't bad. You know what I mean? I, I think that a lot of them are, um, I think that a lot of them are, uh, uh, are probably good. They just get the bad rap, you know. You know how, I say you know what it's like. You may not know what it's like. <laughs> but there, there's always that, like, anyway, my point is this guy, is the reason why car salesmen get a bad rap. That's what I'm saying. But, so, uh, but I will say this, not about the date, necessarily, but uh, Jamie told me, so Jamie told me all of this on the flight over here from Detroit, uh, from uh, Michigan. Um, and, uh, She told me right before we started this stage that um, Rousseau had been texting uh, Marie and had been uh, FaceTiming with her. And it was, Jamie said it was like she was a 16-year-old again. It was like she was a 16-year-old girl, you know, giddy with that first love. You know, 16-year-olds uh, can be kind of a little too, like, happy in love. Um, and, you know... That's the way. But, like, in that kind of innocent style love, you know? 
So, just you get back on the truck. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, you know, even though it didn't work out for Jamie because she was pretty confident he could have been the perfect guy for her, still wouldn't have worked out because, you know, being on the road, literally traveling to the same uh, five locations all the time sort of makes it difficult to date. You know, so one way or another, it wasn't going to work out. She also mentioned that she has no idea what it is, but it feels like this rain has just purified her from all of the bad emotions she was feeling after those first two stages. You know, first three stages, really. But Jamie loves the rain. Maybe I'll talk about that sometime. How much she loves the rain. Maybe the next time it's super rainy. Hey, that went really well. Great stage. Good work. Well, that's good. But let's see how we did. Oh my good lord. Okay, so we came in second. Uh, stage results. Look at the stage results here. Things are not looking... Things are looking real good for Jamie. So that's good news. Uh, event standings. So we did end up getting in between Russo and Martin. Uh, so, okay. Uh, championship standings, we're still in first. We are still in first, but it is a much tighter race for first. Here's the good news. We only missed two sponsor targets. I was pretty confident we were going to miss all of them. So, after those first two stages. All right, so that was the Australian event in the Global Rally Series. I'm sorry that the recording was not great for the first two events, but I'm not that sorry because they were awful. I did not intentionally sabotage it. It just happened to be that the audio was also absolutely garbage as well. Next time, we'll head over to Spain. It looks like it will also be a bit of a rainy time there in, in, in Spain. But uh, this has been James Adventures in Dirt 4. Thank you for watching. Come back soon for more Dirt 4.